working with our transition team, uh, putting our, our cabinet together, and and uh, we're, we're going to focus on the, the mandate that the people gave to us, and we're going to uh, get moving. Have you already figured out who the, those external auditors are going to be? Uh, not yet. That's going to be uh, discussed with our transition team, and we just look forward to moving forward. We're going to have our, our first caucus meeting June the 19th. So Tuesday, June 19th, you're all welcome. And in terms of size of, um, of your cabinet, it's 30 yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, how, how lean are you going to make it? You've got a lot of people to choose from. Yeah, that, that's, that's the biggest problem I'm facing. We have 75 incredible people uh, to choose from, and that's going to be the toughest decision. We haven't made that decision yet, but we will. Are you thinking about 20, uh, under 20? Again, or? We'll, we'll decide that uh, over the next uh, little while. Do you have any specific people in mind already? Uh, no, we'll, we'll decide that over the next little while. What's the first thing that you're going to be working on today? We know that you have said the most important thing for you is to go through the books, but what's going to happen today? What's the first item on order of business? Well, again, sitting down with our transition team and uh, making sure that we have our mandate uh, in front of us and what priorities we're going to set uh, moving forward, uh, putting together a great cabinet. And uh, I, can, I can tell you on the, on the trade deal uh, south of the border, uh, we stand shoulder to shoulder with the Prime Minister and our federal counterparts. Uh, my number one priority is to protect the jobs here in Ontario, uh, especially protect the uh, seal workers, aluminum workers. That's that's going to be a priority. Mr. Ford, on trade, you saw Mr. Trump yesterday threaten yeah. uh, tariffs on automobiles. I mean, that's a yeah. significant part of our export market. That's right. Um, what can Ontario realistically do if there are a tariffs applied to, tra uh, to well, automobiles? Again, we're, we're going to sit down with our federal counterparts. We're going to stand united. Uh, I know all, all provinces, provinces should be standing united uh, with our federal counterparts, and we'll, uh, we'll deal with that. But what, what, what does Ontario do in that situation if there are tariffs applied? Again, we'll, we'll make sure we consult with the federal counterparts. Uh, we're going to fight hard to make sure that every single job is protected here in Ontario, especially the aluminum and steel workers, and uh, we'll, we'll get it done. How did I'm you confident. feel waking up this morning? I, f I feel great. I, I feel energized. I, I feel uh, ready to go. We're, again, this is our first day. We're, we're getting our transition team together and we're going to get moving and we'll, we'll move uh, rapidly. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you everyone. Doug? Appreciate it. Doug, you're not the first uh, Doug Ford to come down here and I wondered, uh, you know, we talked a lot about Rob, yeah. but also your dad and you thought about, you know, the sort of the historical fact of this. Yeah, that, that was nice. I always think of my dad and Rob. They were both champions and uh, I appreciate the, the path they, they paved for us and we're just going to build on, on top of that uh, foundation. But thank you.